live. We are live. Hello, everybody. I still don't know if that's worked. It's the same as an error. Right, I don't know if you can hear me. We're having quite a few technical problems on our side today. I don't know quite what the technical problem is, but we're definitely having them. Bear with us, we should be getting going in just a minute or two. Hopefully you can see me, you can hear me. Thank you for your patience today. I think we're finally coming up live. Whew, that took a bit going today, didn't it, children? Right, never mind, we are finally here. Welcome to our computing oh, that's bright. Welcome to our computing session today. Those who are, are not signed on just yet, if you need to do so, you can go to hellosmart.com, sign in 538687. And hopefully in a minute or two, our lesson will start to work. We've had quite a few problems on our end, but it looks like everything's just sorted itself out now. Better late than never. Today, we are going to be thinking about what a computer does and how to think like a computer. It's called computational thinking. And we do it all the time. When you're working out problems and you're trying to follow a pattern, you're trying to think like a computer. And the better we are at doing that, the better problem solvers we might become. For some problems, some problems we definitely still need to think not like a computer. But for lots of problems, the more we think like a computer, the better progress we can make. I'm going to be using two key terms today. One of these I hope you really, 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 really know from year two, because you definitely did it in year one. It is called algorithms. An algorithm is a set of instructions. And we're doing those all the time. If you're baking a cake, who's done any baking since lockdown? A few hands up in the classroom. You need to follow some instructions to make the cake, otherwise it goes wrong. We're having to follow rules all the time. There's an algorithm to how we behave. In our school, we have lines down the corridor now, so we can only, only walk down one side. We have to stay socially distant. We have to stay in our bubbles. These are rules we are following. They are all algorithms. So whenever you're following one of those rules, you're thinking like a computer. The other big word I'm going to do today is logic. Think back to your time doing right rules maps. Who remembers doing any reasoning problems? A few hands going up. I'm sure all our year two and year three teachers will be overjoyed to know some of us have forgotten we did reading problems. When we have to think about a problem or explain our decision. Can you put that still, please? Thank you. When we have to think about a problem or explain our decision, we are using logic. We are making predictions. We are using our good brain to work out what's going on and try and explain it. That is a really key computer skill, to be able to explain what's going on and predict what's coming next. So let's have a go at one of those now. I've got a sequence here, nice easy sequence. One, two, three, four. What comes next? Five. Five? How did you know? Because we're just counting up. Counting up by what? Ones. Counting up in ones. You can spot that pattern. Now your brain has been trained to spot that pattern for years and years and years and years and years. When we're back in reception, doing ten town, counting up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you may have done number blocks. Yeah. All those skills have allowed your brain to spot that pattern straight away. You're using logic, you're predicting from what I know. This is going up in ones, so the next number must be going up in ones as well, and it must be five. What would come next? Six. Six. Where does this pattern start? At one. It starts at one. Where does this pattern end? Does it end? It can. It ends at six. It could end at six. What else can I keep doing? Um, all the way up to... I could keep going up to... Ten. Could it go above 10? 20. Above 20? 100. Are there any numbers bigger than 100? Yeah. yeah. I could go on forever, couldn't I? With this pattern. Started at 1, I've gone up by 1 each time, and I've ended, well, I don't end at all. 
I've not put an N number on my pattern. I can explain that algorithm using words and using diagrams. Take a look at my words first. I have to say I'm starting. Start by writing down one. Then add one and put the number down. If I don't say to myself, write the number down, I'm not going to do it in my head, am I? But this pattern is written out. I've started by writing the number one, and I've added one to it. That would make two. two. I have to write it down. Add one to it, that would be? Three. I have to write it down. Next number would be? Four. I have to? Write it down. Now, in computer terms, we don't put write it down. If you want a computer to put a number out onto the screen, an output, we use the word print. Is that what we mean? Print. print. So this is my diagram. I start my puzzle. I print the number one to start off with, and then I add one to it and print it. What do I do next? Molly. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then add one and then print it and add one. Should I be writing that forever? I would go down to the bottom of my board, I'd be running all the way down Mrs. Thompson's carpet, I'd be going out up the wall, I'd have to put a hole in the window. Mm. That would take ages, wouldn't it? Yeah. I can be clever with how I write my flow chart. This is what this is, it's a flow chart. So I put some hours in here, this is going to work. I start, I print, I add one, and then I print. What do I do after I print it again, Molly? Ah. Oh. So why not go back to that one? Let's draw my. Draw my arrow in, making a beeping noise at me. Call him out. And I'll use my pen instead. Why don't I I could draw an arrow from my print button here back to my add. Each time I do that, it's going to go to add one, print it, add one, and print it. That is called using a flowchart, and we're going to learn how to use a flowchart to show our logic today. Oh, yeah, finally. Can we see my arrow on your screen now? Yeah, that is. Stop. That is my system. Start at one, print it, print the number one down, then add one each time, and then print the new number. Let's have a look at another one. So, there's some of my flowchart symbols. The ones I'm using today is my start, stop, oval. I'll be using some arrows to show where I go next. Anyone know what this shape is here? Harrison. It isn't a rectangle. Is it a square? It isn't a square. There is something on here which will give you a big clue. Look at your diagram. There is a massive, massive clue on your screen. This shape is an oval. This is a line. What is this shape and how do I know? Is it a square? Well, it wasn't a square last time. I'm not sure it's going to be a square this time either. We need to listen to those people around us. Where might I be looking to know that this is an oval if I didn't know? Sorry. Have a look at your screen. How do I know that must be an oval? Is there a massive clue on my screen? Harrison. It says it's an oval. I don't even have to think. Remember, it says it's an oval. It's an oval. It's an oval. So what is this shape here? Grace. It is almost a parallel. Should we say it properly? It's a parallel. Can we say we say that? A power power. Mrs. Cooper, can you say that word for me, please? My mind's gone too much. A parallelogram. A parallelogram. A parallelogram. Got it. A parallelogram. Oh, it's got that of iron now. A parallelogram. It's one of those. It's a parallelogram. Thank you, Grace. I cannot say that word for a little bit of money now. A parallelogram. 
I've just done my specimen five and six. This shape here is a rectangle. Those are the ones we're going to be using today to help us show our way around. So, this is my new pattern. Get ready to explain it for me, please. Get ready to tell me where does it start, what is changing each time, and what the next two numbers are. Can you write me in a full sentence? The pattern starts on which number, and what do I print each time? What happens to that pattern? Get ready. Explain to me as clearly as you can what is going on here. Where does the pattern start? What is going on to it? A parallel, parallel, a parallelogram, 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 parallelogram. Oh, Mr. Luke is mad there. So write down for me, please. We are two, four, six, eight. Where does this pattern start? How is it changing each time? So the pattern started at two. Try and write me a full sentence which goes the whole thing. Pattern started at two and gone up in twos. So these two together would answer the question, can you write the whole thing as one sentence? Maybe you need a conjunction like and in there to help you. Take your time on this, there's no great rush. It starts on two and goes up in twos. Fantastic answer there. So you can try to use that language of print. We print, we print the new number, it's up in twos. We add two and print the number. Going up in two, starts with two. Good up in two because it's two, four, six, eight. You could do something that way because adding two each time. Yeah, I think we've got this pattern. Starts at two. Oh, this is a really good response here. It starts at two, and then we add two and then repeat. Great use of that, that language of computing. We're repeating there. Excellent. Let's have a look at the writing that pattern then. So, two, four, Six, eight. So let's see if we can do my. Let's see if we can do my bar diagram, my flow chart. I've got my symbols here. I can use these to help me. Which of these symbols do you need to use to start with? Oval, the parallelogram, or the rectangle? Harrison, I need an oval. This is my start sign. It's not be like starting here. So I need to start. What do you need to put onto the screen first? Molly. Um, um, I need to print the first number. What do the first number in this pattern be? Molly? Two. Yeah. I need to tell my diagram to print two. Because I'm going to put something on the screen. That's an output. So I need to tell it to use my parallelogram and print Hopefully, I wish this board was slightly better aligned for teaching in here. Print. Oh dear, it's all gone all over now, isn't it? That's not good at all, is it? Use my rubber. Print. Ooh. Hopefully, you'll write it a lot neater than I can. What do I do to print of number two? Don't I? So I need to use my process box. That's something I'm doing with the process. So I'm going to add two. Let's pick up the right bit in. Nope, nowhere near. Add two. What do I do once I've added two to the number? Do I say input four? Because then I won't be able to repeat. Should I just say print the new number? Because whatever the new number is, I want you to print it in the next sequence, don't I? So I need to use my output button and tell it to print the new number. Oh, ah. <laughs> well, let me type it on here. I think I'm going to stop 
teaching in this room because the board is just absolute cobblers. There we are. So, mine's very messy. I hope yours can be a lot neater than this. I start, I print the number two. Then I add two to the number, and then I print it out again. What do I do next? Mm. I would pay what do, so I need to do a line from here back to here, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Let's follow this out. Start, print two, two, then add, add two, two, print the new number, add two, two print two, the new two, number, add two, two, print the new number. Do you think you could ever go back in that for me? Yeah. So look what I've got. I've got start, then print two, then add, print the number two. I'm going to put that in speech mark. So now I'm printing the number two, and I'm adding two. I'm going to print the new number, add two, print the new number, add two, print the new number. Have you noticed I've drawn it separately? I can use as many of these as I need to. I just get a new one out each time. So don't use these to do your diagram. Drag the one you want and put it where you want it to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's read it together one more time before we have a go. I'm starting, print two, add two, then print the new number, add two, print. And what am I doing here? What have I drawn to help me understand what I'm doing? An arrow. An arrow, fantastic. Right, mine is coming off your sheet, and you're gonna have a chance at doing your own. Ready? Yeah. So, if I was you, I would use the A2 to do the writing. Don't try and write up your finger, because you've seen with me, it just doesn't work, does it? Use the A2 to do any writing. Off you go. I can, yes. Is it with this one here, Mrs. Cooper? Yes. Yeah. Great job. Right, something's not working. Shall we try and re-second it? Yeah. Yeah. Stop working, just refresh your page. Fresh icon, that little spiral of this one here. So press the refresh icon. So press the refresh icon. That one there, like it was last week. Press the refresh icon. Press the refresh icon. Okay, and you're best using this tool here, the A2, to do your writing, okay? You're best using the A2, like I said, to do your writing. If you're struggling to get on this, it's not working for anything, you can always draw it on paper and then upload it to your blog. So again, that button says start, but I think you might need to press. That's it. I'm going to have a go at doing mine, so I can put it up on the board. Let me think what I need to do. I need to use my start button to start or stop. I've got my start button in there. Quietly 
Please, Molly, you can do it your own, please. I need to tell it to use my input and output button to print the number two. Then I need to tell it to add to or to process. And then I need to print whatever my answer is. After I've added two, I need to print my answer. And I can then draw my arrows in all being well. And mine's on the board if you are stuck. I'm starting, I'm printing my two, I'm adding two. You've missed a step up there, where are you doing any adding on yours? There's no adding on there whatsoever. Right, I've got one, two, three, four boxes, you've got three, so something's not right, is it there? It is on the board, is mine, that's what you should be using, Billy. Right, can you use that A2 to, to write with, not like I've asked? It's not rocket science, it's on the ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. Right, you need to first of all, you need to drag the one you want, yeah. like I've shown you, and then use the A2 to do your writing, like I've said. Yeah. I've been saying it for three weeks now. Lewis thinks he's finished, let's look at Lewis's. Excellent work from Lewis. Start, print to, add to, Lewis, you put get new number, that's really good. I would probably change that to print new number if you can. See if you can fix that for me, please. Evie thinks she's finished. Let's look at Evie's. Start, add to. Nearly there, Evie. I'm going to swap these round. I'm going to swap your right number and add to on so that they're in the correct order. And instead of having to write repeat, you can just draw me a line sure that you're doing that repeat there. Not bad at Evie, well done. Lucy 2W, 2W, 2W are finished. Look at Lucy's. She's printing two, she's adding two, and then she's printing. Excellent work from Lucy, well done Lucy. Can we see Lucy on the board if you're getting stuck? Yeah. She's started, she's printed two, she's added two, and then she's printed. Again, this is, all you have to do is do one exactly on the board. Let's look at James's work. Excellent work from James. Take a look. Nice clear text on James as well. He started, printed two, then he's told his computer to add two, and then he's printed the answer. And he's gone round again. Add two, print. Add two, print. Well done, James. Isabel in 2 w Let's see how Isabel's getting on. Great work from Isabel. She started. She's printed two, she's added two, and she's printed a new number. Super work, Isabel. Let's move on to our next attempt. If you've not got it quite got it this time, make sure you're looking very carefully at what Isabel's done and what James has done and all those other children. Be looking at the board right now if you're finding that tricky. Make sure you know what to do next time. Because we're going to move on. Let's look at our next one. So this pattern. Five, six... Seven, eight. What's happening here to our pattern? Where are we starting and what are we doing? So, this time it's going in ones again. Um, um, it's going like a ten. Because it's a right, my question Billy was, where are we starting and what's happening? You've already answered half of that. Phoebe. Counting in ones, but we're starting from five. Right. You're a computer. What does a computer need to know first? We're counting in ones and starting at five, or we're starting at five and counting in ones? Oh. We're starting at five and we're counting in ones. Yeah, that's our logical way of thinking, isn't it? What does a computer need to know first? So we start at five, and then we keep adding one and print the new number. Let's have a look at this together. So, I need to use my start function. You might not let me draw and you write anything here. 
I'll have to I'll have to write it, and so you can do better than I can. When you're doing yours, use the A tool. I don't have an A tool, so I've started. Then I need to print something. What do I need to print? What number am I going to have to print first? Betsy, can you see which number goes first? Five. Five. So I could print five. five. So I have to write in my box, print five. You can write the word print. I'm going to write just for P for now, so that you understand I need to do print five. Then I have a process. I'm going to do something. I'm going to work something out. Which box do I use for process? An oval, a, par a parallelogram, <laughs> or a rectangle? What box do I use for a process? A rectangle. A rectangle. And what is the process? What am I doing each time? Um. Five, six, seven, eight. You're going do I put going up? Does the computer know what going up means? Oh. What is the mathematical job I'm doing? Molly, sit down, please. What is the mathematical job I'm doing? Adding, subtracting, times in, multiplying. Brody? Yeah, adding. So I'm adding what? The numbers. Which number? Adding one. I'm adding one. So that's what my process is. That's what my process is. I am adding one. Let's draw my hours in. Is that the end? Have I reached the end? What do we need to tell it next, Harrison? What do I need to do next? What box do I need next? The same as what I did last time, same as I did the time before. What box do I need next? Can we sit up straight, please? What box do I need next? I've thought of a number. I've added two in my head, but it's just in my head at the moment. What do I need to do to get it onto the screen? Rogan. So, and what do I put in that input and output box? Same as what we did last time. Can you remember? I'm not going to print five, otherwise I'll just put five, 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 five. What I'm going to print? Add one. So I'm going to put five, add one, add one, add one, add one. What am I going to print? What did I print last time? It's exactly the same. It's not changed in any way, shape or form. Bro, did you know? Two. But I'm going to print two each time. Five, five, two, 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 two. That doesn't make any sense. Five, one, 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 no. Five. Five, 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 five. Right, what did we do last Ooh. time? Last time... Last time, look at Isabel's work in year two. She started, she printed, she did it. And what did she do each time? She printed a new number. She printed the new number! <laughs> so what do we have to do this time? Print the new number. Print the new number! Goodness me! And it must be a Friday afternoon, we've all gone half asleep today. We need to print the new number. I'm going to put P for print, N for new, and N for number. You can put the correct thing in. What would happen after I print the new number? What do I do now? Put the hour in because what am I going to do next? I have to put the next number in. What do I do each time? I add one. Start at five. Print, uh, print the number five. Add one. Print the new number. Add one. Print the new number. Add one. Let's see if we can do it ourselves. Let's see if we can do one ourselves. This pattern. Nine, eight, seven, six. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Then what am I going to do? And then you're going to put an input. input. And what's going to mean that input button? Uh, uh, print 9. Print 9. Then what's happening each time? Add 
No. Take away one. And then what do we need to do right at the end? Print the number. Print the new number. I've put the boxes in. Can you put the arrows in and use the A2 to write the text, please? Ready? Off you go. I want the text in here. The word start in the first box. Should be coming up on your, oh, not come up on your screen, yeah? to do the writing with. Thank you. So you need to use the A2 to get your writing in, please. What goes in the first box? St St Star. Star, thank you. Print to the next box, what's our first number going to be? So what do we do for our first number? When you've done that, click done for me please. Don't forget your arrows. Starting. Good, so what we do in the next one is got printing. What are you printing in that box? Print which number, Kieran? Lewis 6 is finished. Take a look at Lewis's. Excellent from Lewis. Start, print 9, minus 1, print new number, and he's got his hours in the correct place. I'm going to leave Lewis on the board in case you're finding it tricky. He's got start, print 9, minus 1, and his print new number. Lewis, can you do me a favour? If you're out there, just click under edit. Can you put the next two numbers in the pattern so I can see you've got it, please? Good, Kyan. So you need your hours in now, don't you? When you've done that, click undone so I can see. Excellent work from Lewis there. Harrison thinks he's completed his work. Let's take a look. Start, print 9, minus 1, print a new number, and he's got his hours in, excellent. Harrison, can you add in the other missing numbers for me as well? Excellent work there. Isaac, in 3S, 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 start, subtract 9. Oh, are we subtracting 9? What are we subtracting each time, Isaac? We've gone from 9 to 8 to 7 to 6. What are we subtracting each time? What are we going down in? Five. We're going down in 5s? I've got from nine. 9 to 8 to 7 to 6 to 5. What am I going down in each time? What? what am I? Yes, what am I counting back in? Am I going in 1s or 2s? Two. Good try, we're going down in 1s. So we're not going down in 9s, we're going down by 1 each time. Can you look at your work? Can you see which number you can change? Because one of those numbers should be a 1. See if you can change it. Great work. Oh, lots of people finished. Let's look at Kyan's work. Start, minus 9, subtract 1, new number. I think you need an hour in there, don't you, Kyan? Can you put that extra missing hour in? Getting there, getting there. Let's look at Lucas 3T, 3T's work. Excellent work from Lucas. Print 9, take away 1, print the new number. Take away 1, print the new number. Great work from Lucas. Let's take a look at Lucy 2W2W2W's work. Excellent work there. Evie's work. Oh, that's James's work, sorry. Excellent work from James. Evie's work. Excellent work from you, Evie. Write the number nine. Subtract one, print the new number. Subtract one, print the new number. And you've got your hours in the right place. Don't forget the other hours going down as well. They're really important. Let's look at his work. 
Excellent. Don't forget your owls. They're really important. Good. Should we do another one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at another one. This time, you're going to do the boxes. What number am I starting with? Three. Three. And then what do I change? What's my process each time? Yeah. So you need a start box. You can take up to print first. Then what's my process? Let's see, what am I going up in each time from three to five to seven to nine? What am I counting in? Not ones, that would be three, and then four, and five, and six. I've gone from three, five, seven, nine. What am I going up in each time by? Brody, what am I going up in each time by? Three. Not going up in threes each time, because that would be three, then six, then nine. I've gone from three to five. What am I counting up in each time? Can I am. I'm going up in twos. So look at my pattern. Starting at three. Starting. Put the number three down. You need my processing. Add two. And then what do I need to do at the end? Once I've done all the hard maths work. Harrison? Uh, is it add the new number? Pr not add the new number. Print the new number. Print number. Let's give that a go. Ready? Off you go. in this time. Don't forget the words that are useful. Start, print, then think are you adding or are you subtracting? And then don't forget to print the number out at the end. Oh, lovely work with your hours. I'm really glad you're thinking of getting your hours in first. That's a really good idea. Excellent work from Lucas in class today. How Betsy's getting on. Great start, Betsy. You've got the box in the right process, Betsy. Don't forget to put your last box at the bottom for your printing. Excellent work. Let's take a look at Oh, Poppy's finished. Let's take a look at Poppy's work. Start, print three, which is adding two and printing the new number. Excellent work, Poppy. Can you tell me the missing numbers in the sequence? Let's see how Lucy 2W, 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 2W is getting on. Excellent work, Lucy 2W, 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 2W. I can like to see if she's putting in the missing arrows. Lucy, don't forget to add in the missing numbers. What will the next two numbers in the sequence be? What pattern spotting can you see? Oh, Evie's finished. Let's take a look at Evie's work. Evie, nearly there. Just think of where that box needs to be. Do you write the number three and then print the new number, or do you have to change it first? Can you swap some of your boxes around, Evie? Very nearly there. Let's look at Molly's work. Oh, lovely there. Start, print three, add two, print the new number. Molly, if you were going to change the word new, what would you get rid of? E. Yeah, get rid of, make sure you get rid of the right E. Have a look at that, that would be fantastic work. Let's see how Rogan's getting on. Good, you need to put your hours in now, Rogan. That's looking really good. Uh, James in 3S. Oh, excellent work from James. James, can you do me a favour? Can you put some hours on your line so I can see which direction you're going in? Really good piece of work from you today. Let's look at Phoebe's work. Good start, Phoebe. You okay? You know what you're doing next? 
Kieran and Free S. Great work from Kieran. You've drawn this really important hour. All the other hours are important as well. See if you can add in the other hours as well. Great work though. Ooh, you know what? I think we did this activity with four and five with some slight tricky numbers, but you're definitely doing a lot better with our bar di uh, diagrams and very Look at Isaac's work. Excellent work, Isaac. Can you do me a favour? Can you add the other missing hours in going down from the start button so I can see where you go after start? Excellent work. Okay, it's a couple more minutes. Harrison. Excellent. And Harrison, you can see, has added the missing numbers in as well. Okay. We'll look at one more. Oh, just popped up just in time. Start, print three, and two, print new number. Don't forget the hours going down. Really good piece of work. The hours are so important. Because it tells the, the computer which direction to be understanding with it. It makes your algorithm make sense. Uh, get on, Brody. Can I take a look? So this works so far. Yep. So we've started, printed three. Don't forget your arrows. Added two. What are you going to put in this last box, Brody? Fantastic, well done. Really, really great skills, well done, guys. Okay. If you've not finished, don't worry. I might leave this open so you can finish any work off. But we're just going to go on to our next activity first. Okay. We're nearly at the end of our lesson. Can you create your own pattern? So, a last little job to do. Can you create your own pattern for me? So, at the top of your screen, make your number pattern. You might have to think of number you want to start on. This side, are you going to add? Are you going to subtract? Maybe some of you might want to times. You're going to go add by one, or by two, or by three. So, make your number pattern and then make me a flow chart so I can understand what you've done. That makes sense? So now it's down to you. We might start this activity now, and I might leave this open so you can finish it off, and I will look at your work this evening. I'm also going to put the slides on student mode, so that you can now go forward and backward if you need to, if you need to check on something else you've done. So right now, can you make me your own pattern? We'll take a look in the class to start off with. So remember, write me down your number sequence and then tell me the flowchart, the logical reasoning pattern I would need. Because that's what we're doing today, don't forget. We're writing down the logic pattern, the sensible way of explaining what we are doing. So that anyone else can follow it and do our pattern exactly the same. And that's what good computer users do. They write down the pattern they're using in a way that everyone else can follow. When you're doing computer code, you write down your algorithm in a way everyone can follow. And by using a flowchart, you're writing your way in a, in a method that everyone else can understand as well. We did lots of work on flowcharts when you're going to years three, and years four, and years five, and years six. And you'll also be doing lots of work on flowcharts in years seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And if you want to go in for a job in computing, Guess what? You're doing lots of work on flowcharts then. I'm going to let you continue with your patterns. If you want, you can also write your pattern on paper and then add it on the blog. But we're going to end our lesson here on the video. You can keep working at home. We'll see you all later. Let's say bye-bye, uh, key worker children. Bye! Bye-bye for now, everybody. Thank you.